like regular tuna or whatever. And I'm gonna just show you guys how I make it or whatever. And you can put whatever you like in it, but this is what I put in mine, and it'd be so, so, so bomb. Then I'm gonna also talk about one time um, when I, me and my homegirls went to the skating ring and cause y'all know I just started back skating. So it just made me think about stuff, you feel me? So one day me and my homegirls, um, we went to the skating ring. First of all, I'm gonna tell you this first before I even tell you about that. I'm, put, I'm cutting up some onion. This is a tuna that I use, chicken at a sea. Good tuna, but I use the one that's in water because I don't like all that oil in mine. So when I just drank the water out. So I'm gonna just put it up in here. I know I'll be kind of ghetto at times, but I'm using my fork to scoop it all out. Some people don't like tuna. I do, though. I love tuna because I love fish and I love uh, like all seafood. So we're going to use that. Put that to the side. I bought two cans and just for me. And my son might want some, too. So... Cause my daughter, she don't, they don't eat it. And my, and milk don't eat it. So I'm just like, shit, I mean, I love tuna. So two cans of the chicken at a sea depends on how many people, you know, gonna eat it or whatever. Then I got some eggs. I boiled three cause I like a lot of eggs in mine. So you just cut it real fine. They still kind of hot. And you just chop it. Chop it up like I'm doing. I put it all in, even the yellow part. I love it. So you do that. I got three. You can put how many you want for you. I just put three because I like eggs. I love eggs. And then I'm gonna add some onion when I get done. And then I'm going to add some best food mayonnaise. Like I said, I love Miracle Whip, but I grabbed this one because I didn't have it at Rouse when I went. And then the best food sandwich spread. This is the kickoff right here because it gives all the flavor I need. Because I don't eat tuna. If they don't have that one in there, I don't, I don't, um, I don't, use, I don't make tuna because I got to have a sandwich spread that just completes it for me. So I'm going to, shit. I'm being like messy right now. But I'm gonna put all the uh, eggs in there with the tuna. And then I'm gonna go back to what I'm talking about. But I have to let y'all know what I put in my tuna. This is my last one. And I'm chopping up in here. You know, you can chop it up however you want, but I don't like real, real big chunks, but I mean, you know, just however you want to do it, baby. So I'm just putting that in here. Like I said, you don't have to add eggs. I don't know how people cook tuna, but this is how I cook it. And I like it like this. Okay. So then we're gonna get to the onion. I only need a little piece because like I said, it just me. I just cut a little bit up in here. You can use a brown onion, white onion. I don't care what y'all use. But you know, I'm just doing this to spice it up a little. I always put a little onion in mine. Some people be putting like pickle relish and different stuff in there. I don't know, but the pickle relish, it comes in the sound spread already, so. It's like a mixture of like mayo and uh, pickle relish and other little stuff in there. That's how I like it. But I chopped the onions up kind of fine because when you eat it, you can't even taste the onion. You don't want to be able to be like, damn, what's this big ass chunk of onion in my tuna for? Nah, baby. So I'm just sprinkling a little of that. Like this piece is too big, period. Put that up. Just a little bit of the onion though. We're going to go back to what I was talking about because y'all already know what I'm putting in my tuna. Okay. So what I want to talk about is one day 
um, me and my homegirls, we went to the skating ring, rolling wheels or whatever. And um, you know how at the club, you know, when it's over, everybody meet niggas and everybody like, oh, what's up? You know, chilling or whatever. So we seen, <clears throat> it was like, like a gang of niggas. They was trying to talk to us or whatever. You know, during that time, we like, yeah, what's up? You feel me? So we get their number or whatever. And we had our uh, homegirl little brother with us at the time. Yes, at the time. So basically, we weren't trying to do too much. They was like, you know, what's up? I was like, I don't fuck with people on the first date, which I really don't. You feel me? I be want to check a person out first, see what they about. Sometimes you can't even tell from that. But I wanted to check it out. So my homegirl was like, yeah, we're going to go out with them another day since we are my brother with us. I was like, okay. So, you know, us being grown and shit, the next day, we end up talking to the niggas or whatever. They like, oh, come over, come kick it with us or whatever. I'm like, damn, you think we should go? My homegirls was like, hell yeah, we want what they ass. We ain't got my brother. We chilling. We finna go. I'm like, you sure? The niggas ain't looking, you know, sometimes you cannot, I'm going to just say this, you cannot judge a book by its cover. You know, we thinking like, oh, okay, they look cool or whatever, but this is us being young and dumb. So, we like, yeah, they look cool or whatever. We don't fuck with them or whatever. So, they calling all day at this point. So, we was like, fuck it. My homegirl, she convinced me like, oh, okay. It was like three of my homegirls and me. So, it's a total of four. And then it was like, five niggas but when we hooked up we only hooked up with like three niggas because it was of course it was three girls so the niggas meet us or whatever and um you know we hooked up with them so everything was cool like the whole night or whatever first i was like well i don't think i could stay out all night because my mama gonna trip or whatever because my mother at that time i'm the only child she was like real real strict on me but I still did stuff, but she was real strict at the same time. You feel me? So, you know, I'm just like, damn, you know, I can't even go. At the end of the day, she was like, where are you going? And back during that time, I was living in Pasadena. And my homegirls, all my homegirls lived in um, L.A. So she was like, oh, um, you can't go because, you know, it's going to be the buses and all this type of stuff. How you going to get there and this and that? Because during that time, I didn't have a car. My homegirl had a car. So she was like, um, how you gonna get back home or whatever? And then I'm like, mama, come on now, let me go. She was like, no. Uh-uh, baby, you ain't finna be out there late. And I was like, fuck. So guess what, y'all? I snuck out. I left anyway. My homegirls pumped me up. I met them at their house or whatever. Because my homegirls, they was, they was bloods. We hung around. I hung. I was hanging with them. Like I don't want to put that hair or nothing like that. Swinging my hair by the food. I I was hanging with them a lot. Tough. It was fun. We used to chill over there, um, kicking and all that. So I'm like, yeah, we finna go over there. We finna go. I done snuck out the house. We going fucking. Y'all done pump me up. I'm gonna just suffer the consequences later. Man, we hooked up with them niggas. It was cool at first. And guess what happened, y'all? They kidnapped us. Straight kid this, okay? It was this girl, she was, um, I think she was from like 60s or something. It was a home girl. She was like, um, first of all, they robbed us, okay? It was like, it was started getting real late, like about 11 o'clock, whatever. They rode around with us chilling. They took us to, first they took us to this like liquor store or whatever. So we think we up there buying drinks, thinking we go on and shit. So they took us to the liquor store or whatever. And they was like, um, what they were saying, they was like, yeah, all y'all bitches give us y'all money and all this. I just couldn't believe my eyes. It was something in the back of my head said, don't go. I done snuck out to get kidnapped. I done snuck out thinking I'm about to get killed, raped, or whatever, right? So me and my homegirl, we like, during this time, she had, I had a, a ponytail in my hair. She had some braids, and my other homegirl had some braids. They had their homegirls come. I mean, I'm the type, like, I'm going crazy. I'm fighting. I don't care. Like, we just finna do what we got to do to get about the situation. But it was three big niggas we was with, too. So, they run a homeboy. No, they run a homegirl to the liquor store. Like, she met him up there. They robbed us for our money or whatever. I didn't trip because I only had, like, probably the most I had was, like, $40 on me. Let me taste this now. 
I'm gonna taste it. It was mine, so I could taste it. A little more. Yeah, so um, yeah, that, and then my homegirl, uh, the girl, she she was like, Yeah, bitch, I don't like you, bitch. Where you from? or whatever. My homegirl's a blood. She told her where she was from. And um, she was trying to fight my homegirl. So we all like, what's up? What's up, bitch? What, you know, what you what you doing? You feel me? And they was like, back up, back up. So I was like, come on now, don't do that, don't do that. Like we talked them out of it. They took our money, but the girl didn't end up fighting my homegirl. Cause I'm like, it's no chance we don't even win this fight, period. Look at all these niggas and their females. Nah, fuck this shit. Don't you know, y'all, so when they robbed us, they we was still in a band. They picked us up like in a band, which is stupid of us to even get in the fucking band. So we went in a band. That's they took us to the liquor store, but like I said, we thought everything was cool because they was talking cool, smooth, or whatever. Why they took us in the hills, like somewhere in Hollywood Hills, somewhere, but it was like mountains. That's all I can know. That's all I know that it was mountains. And they took us to like these a house in the mountains, but the house was like very dark, and it had like, uh, what do you call that? Devil worshiper shit. Like you see all this shit, like devil worshiping all around the house, like signs and all this type of shit. I'm like, oh my fucking god, we finna die. I'm never gonna see my mother again. I can't believe it. I'm crying. I'm praying. I'm hitting my homegirls. Like, oh my god, we fucked up. We fucked up. We should have never, never went. And so my homegirl's like, don't even trip. We got to get out of this. We all talking to each other. But the niggas, like, they had us. They didn't have us tied up, but they won't let us go nowhere. You feel me? So they made us lay down on the ground, y'all. Like on a the hill. They was like, see this, y'all? See this bitch? I could really just kill y'all right now. I could really kill y'all right now. Y'all, fuck y'all bitches. Y'all got in a car with us, boo. Y'all didn't even know. We don't give a fuck about bitches and all this. Oh, my God, y'all. I was terrified i just knew i wasn't gonna see today the light of day again so whatever happened they end up leaving they we had we were spaced down thinking they's gonna execute us in the back of our heads with guns and all this type of shit i was just like oh my god just take me now i don't care i'd rather for you to kill me than rape me i don't care so i told the nigga i said i don't give a fuck you could kill me let me tell you Well, yeah, I told the nigga, I said, you could kill me, motherfucker, because I'd be damned if a motherfucker raped me. Kill me now. Throw me off the cliff. That's just how I was feeling, because I was like, I didn't know if I was going to get out this situation or not. So, for his homeboy called him. I don't know. Somebody called their phone, and they ended up leaving. But they took us with them. Man, they rode around with us, like, all night. Like, all night. I was just, like, so petrified. Like, all night. I'm up here like, can y'all just let us go? Well, fuck, you just let me go right here. I'll find my way home or whatever. They was like, shut y'all bitch ass up. So, daylight started coming. I don't even know what these niggas' motives was. Maybe to scare us or whatever. But daylight hit. Okay, so we started going back towards LA where like South Central. We was like on Crenshaw somewhere. They threw one of my friends out, like opened the door and just pushed her out. And I started crying and shit like, oh my God, and she did. Because the van was going kind of fast, like medium fast. And they just threw her out. I said, oh, to my own other homegirl. I said, we did. I don't give a fuck. Man, I, 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 it was dark in the van. It was so weird because it was like pitch black, you know? So I ended up like reaching for something and I found the motherfucking screwdriver, y'all. A screwdriver. You know what I did? I just started going off, trying to stab them, going off on the driver, like just running through the van, like going crazy, hollering and screaming. Then my friend just started doing the same thing. I was like, yeah, I'll just start having the school work. And then you know what they did? They pushed me and her out the van. And after that, we never seen them again. But that was the worst experience of my life. That's why today I look back and I be on oh, my daughter so cold. Like, oh my God, I don't want her walking nowhere by herself. It could be like to the corner. I don't want her walking nowhere. I don't want her getting in nobody's car. I don't want her saying nothing to no nigga, no man, older than her, none of that. I am so protective over my kids, like, to the point where there's no return. You feel me? I am so, because I can't believe that. But that's what I did for being grown, thinking I'm grown, thinking I'm just like, oh, fuck the world. It's all about some niggas and go partying and doing all this. Don't you know we could have got our life taken away from us? 
I mean, I was just like petrified. Like, what was the whole motive? They didn't even rape us. They didn't touch us or nothing. They just, I guess they did this to scare us to let us know, like, you feel me? Oh, this could happen. Something could happen to you if y'all ever get in a car with some strangers. Or they could have just changed their mind. Whatever it is, but God spared us, okay? And I'm thankful every, every day. And I tell my daughter this story all the time. Like, I could have been gone. I wouldn't even been your mom. You feel what I'm saying? And it's so sad because for me to think all these foolish ways, I remember, like, nowadays, it's, like, way worse. But, man, I told my daughter, I said, you know what? We could have died. Like, literally, we get in a car with strangers. Didn't even know I didn't have my homegirl pump me up. And it was just something holding me back. That's why my mother was like, oh, you can't go nowhere. You How you going to get back home? I'm living out here. They living over there. But I wanted to be grown, hang out, you know, chill with some niggas and do all this. And look what happened to me when I could have got my life taken away. And then they threw us out the van, robbed us, threw us out the van, had their homegirl trying to fight my homegirl. Pulling my own girl braids. I mean, it was just crazy that night. I am so glad. I didn't give a fuck if I had a broken leg when he threw me out or whatever. Pushed, well, they actually pushed us out. And <laughs> I didn't care whether I was on fight for my life or whatever. But at the end of the day, I just wanted to share that with y'all because I'd be so like looking at these young girls and I'd be like, oh my God, like these prostitutes, they so young, like 13 and 14 and just getting in these guys' cars or whatever and I'm just thinking like the day that I got in somebody's car and I could I could have been dead. So I just preach that to my daughter or any other like young person that I see like it ain't even worth it. You feel me? Go get a job. Go do something for yourself. Go better your life because we literally could have been dead, okay? Getting in there trying to be cool, hang with some niggas and shit, and don't even know them like that. That's why I say you can't even judge a book by a cover. A motherfucker could look a certain way on the outside would be the devil on the inside. And like, oh my God, I just, I just, I'm going to throw this away because it's empty, but I just was like... <laughs> Oh my God, like, and I'm, and then it's like, regardless of the fact you tell somebody something, like I tell my daughter, oh, mama, I know, you don't know. You don't know, because a motherfucker could get inside of that brain of yours as you been young, and you thinking, oh, he, he love me, or he care about me, or we just gonna chill, and could be a whole devil in the inside. You feel what I'm saying? So, I just have to share that with y'all, y'all, just like if y'all got some kids that's young or whatever, you know, want to hang out, you know, because anybody can slip something in your drink, you can lose your life. You can't always just go and hang out with people you don't know because you know nothing about them. I couldn't even tell my mama how they look. I couldn't even tell my mama how, where I'm at. They took our phones. Oh, that's for God. They took our phones too. So how could I even tell my mama how this man look or these guys look where I'm at? You feel me? But that's me being grown, wanna be like, oh yeah, girl, let's go kick it with these niggas, girl. Yeah, girl, we gonna have fun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, <laughs> it ain't like that. You feel me? But that's my stupid ass when thinking like I used to think, like real stupid, like, okay, duh, you know, these niggas wanna kick it. You feel me? I, I mean, it's plenty of times that I didn't kick it with niggas back then, like where I thought, you know, they was cool. They was cool. So, you know, like we, we you know, we think, oh, these niggas cool. But when that happened, oh, baby, you know, I, I, I honestly switched my whole train of thought about people because you cannot trust people, especially getting in a car with people. That's why I be seeing all these kids and stuff, getting in cars with people, going to party with people and end up drugged. And then you can't get your right mind back. All that type of shit. That's out for me. That's out for my kids. Like, I don't play that shit. I am so overprotected. I don't care. They can talk about their mama all they want to. I, you can party with me. You can hang with me. We can do stuff. Or find you some friends that's on your level. You feel me? Don't rush to be a grown-up. You feel me? Because in due time, baby, <laughs> you're going you gonna to appreciate it. Because please, don't grow up too fast because then you're going to have bills to pay. You're going to have rent. You're going to have mortgage. You're going to have all kinds of shit. And then you're going to wish you was a kid again. You feel me? My life was moving so fast when I was younger. I was out there in them streets. But I was out there in them streets making money. But I wasn't out there in the streets just being a whole, just 
just this and that just because i hang out that i mean i'm a hoe i understand that or just because i hang out in the streets i'm not doing certain things but i don't know that because other people are not thinking the same way you're thinking you feel me it might be people just want to have sex with you or people that just want to chill with you it's a lot of crazy people they drugging people these days they doing anything they have put something in your fucking water even if i'm in ubers uber drivers always say oh, you want something to drink hell no nah. I'm thinking that my whole <laughs> train of thought, I'd be like, everybody ought to get me. And that's just the way I think. And that's, I, I have to have my guard up at all times because I got to protect myself. You feel me? I got to protect my kids. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because there's so much going on in the world that we don't know who is who. You feel me? We don't know who like who, who. Who, who's hating on who, who this, and that could be your close friend to you. It could be your motherfucking family members, your cousins, your uncles, your aunties, your friends. I don't care. I don't trust half of the people I fuck with. Sometimes I don't even trust myself. You feel me? So, you know, at the end of the day, I just wanted y'all to see me make my little quick tuna my lunch. It's going to be mine. Very good. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little pepper on here too, y'all. Hold up. Just a little bit. Just a couple little dabs. And there it is there. Voila. Oh, and then. I'm going to make me a sandwich. I got some Lay's chips. And then I got this Nature Zone honey wheat bread that I eat all the time. My mama turned me on to this one because I used to get like Sara Lee and um, Wonder and all these other breads. My mom was like, this bread is bomb. It's like four bucks. It's like three sixty nine dollars or something like that. But I know it's like four something, maybe with tax or whatever, but it's some good bread. Try it if y'all like it. It's the Honey Wheat Nature Zone. So I'm just, you know, relax, make me a sandwich, chill today, and um, get all my inventory because I have a little kid's um, clothing store online and you guys could follow it if you want to see what i got soho minis that's what it's called don't forget to check that out and um yeah so oh you know what let me show you let me just show y'all a little quick pic so i'm really like getting all my inventory together y'all you know i still need to get everything together it's a lot of stuff down here too y'all can't see everything but I'm getting all the stuff together and then I'm actually building my website up right now because I got a lot of other inventory that I need to add to the website. I've been having it for a while, like I said, you know, so just, you know, look me up, you know, even if you just want to look or whatever, you know, you can do that too. So that's the end of my story time and my little quick 10 minute tuna. So don't forget to comment, subscribe and like. It's Mika Gang.